Okay. We don't have too much freedom here. Say it to me. Hmm. We're probably gonna give this up pretty soon. I might go with like Hawker Smuggler. Argument can be made that maybe I should just Swordmaster and uh, and that might just draw out some removal but I just go with that for now just for you love even buff the witchers even more tempo I'm too old for this shit oh Um, it's not terribly Swords strong. Weapons laugh to scorn. Keep in mind, we're probably passing soon. I like the, the one boost we get from the the Hawker Smuggler. Really? The funny thing is... I can just pass to make it the, a round two. Long round two. But probably makes more sense just to win it. So let's just play the Elven Swordmaster. Let us sing the song of steel. <sighs> Whatever. So that odd pass. Even without using the tactical advantage, kind of makes me believe that this Prime Minister guy is like super addicted to long ground. And you know what? I say bring it on. Bring it on, man. So he probably has some kind of a Nibble and Dragon's Dream stuff. And um, I have my own uh, tricks. And I think they are pretty decent. That can be extremely strong. Uh, let's just put back the trap. Wow. On eight. I don't know if the Alvin Scout will stay alive. Uh, pass. I think that's unlikely. You want long ground? Uh, sure. Hey, we managed to put in a lot of garbage in the deck. Now, how did that Duo. Nah. That's not a good card to play in this turn. <laughs> because it's just gonna draw into the trash. The Nordlings hate with for us. Hmm. Not that. We don't want that guy. That's okay. Okay, let's see what we have. 
So we want two crushing traps to be played by our double trap thing. And we, we basically have everything we ever could dream of. This is the dream hand. Yeah, there's nothing better in the deck than what we have right now. Dream hand, baby. Um, it can be argued that maybe a mover is better, or at least more reliable, uh, than an Alvin Scout. He has a lot of stuff in the range row. I can just start with the Ragnarok. But we do have one mover, but uh and, and of course Brewer. I can move it away. And kind of try to shut it down, but do I even care about that going off? I don't know. I don't think I care. So maybe set up some value generation. Maybe go with Pafko. Because the likelihood of him getting shut down is pretty damn low. Okay, you can play the ability. Ragnarok was already pretty good. That's bad, but like realistic what we have. So you may have just taken my mover. Assassination. Well, that was strong. Uh, we can just go with Smuggler. Enough. We can just go with the infiltrator for now. No door is closed. <laughs> oh fuck, he took my crushing trap. <laughs> you bastard. Oh man. Well, we only have one crushing trap then. Whatever an ally trap. We can move Chiron X in the back. I just play the Mahakam Horn. Eh, let's play it in the front. It does suck that he took my crushing trap. Good of the that is what matters. Oh, destroy an artifact. Okay. That's not great. At least Ragnarok is uh, providing good value. Evan Scout in the back. They're dead already. Yeah, we can go pitfall trap. This is turning out to be a trickier situation than I hoped. We do have at least one crushing trap. So we're just gonna assume that he does have the unicorn too. So 
So maybe I can do a one movement with Brewer. Try to prevent the unicorn. Tough. No, no more times, Brewer. Okay. Stealing my trap. Now nah, that was bullshit. Yeah, I should have respected Isabel of Hagel a little bit more. For some reason, I didn't think that uh, she's gonna steal my trap. I should have. Problem is, it's gonna be like a well, 50 50. When he's gonna play Leo, he's gonna play Leo for sure. <clears throat> Enough of this farce, Vedrai Enlay! Who's I gonna die? I just try to maximum damage, maximize damage with Brewer. Okay, let's do that. Something needs to be in the back. So he's gonna Leo me. And the Yorvid Gambit here, obviously. That dies in the back, that dies in the back. Leo gets played in the front. Yes, he's by Crushing Trap. Now we can just uh, move this in the back. Ah, that doesn't really work. Does it? No, let's go like this. Oh, he's gonna get boost as well. I'll do as you ask this time. <clears throat> we got a six point crushing trap with a uh, with a. Uh, We got 13 points. We got nothing to fear, mate. I can just move. Wind blows. Move it back. Ah! And pass. Pass. And that's it. GG. Sorry, I was. I think I was a little slow here. <laughs> this is the kind of deck where I confuse myself, but in a good way. GG. Oh, look at that, Foltest. All right. This drunk guy needs to go down. Wow, this starting hand. Sure. 
Uh, the plan here is, for now, is just to probably give up early. Yeah, I'm a bit of a pushover, but I don't think he's gonna push me round two. For the queen! Hmm. What am I doing? So, the question is, do we play Pafko? What are gonna be the three cards, possibly three cards, that we play here? It's gonna be the Witchers. It's gonna be this guy, and it's probably gonna be Pafko. And we don't play Kieran. So we start with something like that. This is not really a dead giveaway that we are kind of giving up this round early-ish. Or at least that's the plan so far. Might change. And if it does change, obviously it's gonna help a lot with that. Altus boosted. What are you thinking about? No. Let's hit that. Get out the Witchers. Oh, that's not great. Didn't play much so far. Pass is a little bit compared. Well, we definitely played more than him. This is a trash card. It's a decent throwaway. They can hide, but there is no escape. We might just play the sappers. But then that's it. Nothing else. This deck is not too reliant on uh on uh Trader! on like being in control. Okay, yeah, whatever, I'm just gonna play trash. And I'm gonna play trash too. So we're just both playing trash at this point. I think he cares about going uh, uh, last. Good question. Do we throw away the sappers? It's just eh. we can we can play the sappers. Best would be that he plays something that's more than a five, but in all likelihood, this is great. I'll take that trade. Okay, he's in the lead by 12. I would need to do a 13. This is just a reasonable uh, time to pop. He might have the Witchers, because apparently everyone must have them. Okay. Do I even really want something on the deck? Reed Dragon could be handy. Sure. That's not great. I'm too old for this shit. <clears throat> okay. Let's start with the smuggler. I'm not quite ready to Ragnarok. But if he plays some other tempo, 
I will gladly do it. I wouldn't be surprised if he gives up up to this. Not only I'm generating value, but he got his thinning out. Didn't lose a card. Point for me. <laughs> okay. Nope. So that's not good enough, he's saying. Gotta be more than that. If I play Ragnarok. And that's probably gonna convince him to go away, but we somehow need to pressure him. I think we need to Ragnarok. This is not really a deck we can just like save everything for later. Yeah. If he doesn't pass now, I would be surprised. In which case, awaiting your orders. Not great. That's that's pretty surprising. If we can play a crushing trap, that's actually going to represent uh an eight. Not sure how long he's gonna, how much he's gonna push this round. I think a crushing trap is what we need. We got 10. Plus 5. If there's a time to leave, this is the time. That would be... I don't know how much I sh should try to gain a card advantage because we might get punished there. I but one for sure, he's getting close to the the point. Where he might think that he's gonna lose a card. Of course, he doesn't know that my hand is uh, legendarily bad. I'm not sure why he... Well, why did he play the blue strap scout in the back? Even just to avoid the uh, the crushing trap, 
locked an odd spot. Well, obviously he would want to force out the double trap. But that's gonna be a little tricky. Another entry in the Chronicles. That's extremely low tempo. So I play this, plus Ragnarok hits, that is enough if I play Brewer once to gain a card advantage. Which would be a very nice thing uh, to have. Well, it's a little odd. Just taking, even taking one is enough. We can just put this back. Yeah, let's just prove it back. Wait, what? What? Fucking Brewer, I hate this automatic bullshit. Why would you want to use up all your charges at the same time? That's so retarded. Who ever thought of that? I, I just did the one movement I wanted to do. Then the time ran out. Which is totally fine. But then the game decided that, you know what would be funny? If we randomly just triggered that uh, garbage. That would be really funny. It's not as funny as they think, but... I'll give it to them. It's it's a little funny. So let's just play the pit trap. Not only that made zero sense, but also now I can play the Mahakam Horn between them. Pretty sweet, I have to say. But of course, this allows me to play the pitfall trap. So we're just gonna go with that for now. You have to right click. It is just a terrible design. It is the design I would go for if my... As a joke. As a way to intentionally screw people over. We gotta play Yorvet here. Because his last guy could be relevant. And uh, Mahakam Horn is not guaranteed. Actually, it's. Oh, it's. I don't know. I think the Mahakam Horn is better than Pitfall Trap. Save for later. There's zero chance. He can't can't play his last card. Doesn't matter. Pass. He just lost a Brewer charge for no reason. Tough. Uh, we don't want that. I don't want the crushing trap. This is okay. I can wait, yeah yeah. We we start with the smuggler. Technically I can play my Elven Scout 
at the end. We play the Jorvitz Gambit. One before end. Uh, this is probably gonna get played a little bit later. But it's gotta be like one, two, three, four, something like that. S. And get some boosts. Maybe he has a an artifact. Doesn't. These dogs have no honor. Ooh. That, that's annoying. Yeah. Let's just go with the sapper. I'm so tired. Uh, we plan to play the horn. Nice In the front. <laughs> yeah, let's just get more guys. So, I'll just go with the scout. Regroup. <laughs> okay. Rushing trap. A Hockham horn. Ass. This is pretty bad. But these are technically sevens if they trigger Let's get this properly. Over. Ah, so bad. You shall taste of Guess I could have played. Nah, it doesn't matter. Well done. It was pretty close. Huh. Good push. If we had the Brewer charge, guess what would have happened? <laughs> GG!